do British citizens have right of abode in British overseas territories? This video will answer whether you, a full British citizen, is entitled to live, work and move indefinitely to territories such as Gibraltar, Guernsey, Cayman Islands. The policies for British overseas territories is a lot more complex than the policies for French overseas territories, for example, because if you look at people born in French Polynesia, Tahiti, Bora Bora, these types of places, if you look at what citizenship they have, there is no such thing as a French Polynesian passport or a French Guinean passport in South America. They are French citizens. They can move to France. There is no different passport. However, for British overseas territories, there are different passports. Passports. There's a full British passport and there's a Cayman Islands passport and every other overseas territory passport. But let's say you have a full British passport and it just says British passport, maybe United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Could you move to the Falkland Islands, for example? Well, I was actually on the phone to the Falkland Islands Immigration Services a few months ago and I asked them this very question. I said, I am a full British citizen. I would like to move to the Falkland Islands, maybe work there and live there indefinitely. Could I do that? And do I have right of abode? And the answer was, no, not exactly. I would need to get a visa. I'd need to get a job there. I couldn't just go to live in the Falkland Islands like if I went from London to Manchester. There is no right of abode like that or from England to Scotland. You can move freely, but not just because of the travel and the distance, but also the visa policies. You would need to get a work visa if you wanted to live in the Falkland Islands as a full British citizen. The only territories where you do have right of abode as a full British citizen are Guernsey, Jersey and Gibraltar. If you actually look at the visa territory travel map for the British passport, you can see that all three of these territories, including the UK and Ireland, obviously because of the common travel area, they are highlighted in blue, representing that you have right of abode in those territories, but not in every territory like a French or an EU citizen may have in their overseas territories. In my research, I have not yet found a justification as to why British overseas territories have different visa policies. I do think that perhaps it may be a lot better and a lot simpler if they took in the same policies as France does, where let's say someone born in Bermuda is not a Bermudan British overseas territory citizen, a BOTC, but just a British citizen, like someone born in Bora Bora to French parents is a French citizen. So can you move to these overseas territories as a full British citizen? Well, of course, you have no restrictions moving to any country, but you do need a visa, not for every territory, but for the majority of them that do not really lie in mainland continental Europe. And hopefully that answers your question about whether you can live in overseas territories as a British passport holder. Let me know whether you think this is a good or a bad policy. If you think it's a bad policy, let me know what your solution would be. Would you adopt a similar policy as to what France does with their overseas territories? Or would you do something different? Let me know down in the comments below.